Welcome back. This time we're talking about Phoenix Forgotten, a found footage film that could be best described as the Blair Witch Project with aliens. The movie is the feature directorial debut of Justin Barber, um, who also co-wrote the film with T.S. Nolan, who wrote the scripts for the Maze Runner adaptations. Now, I was only half joking when I said Phoenix Forgotten is the Blair Witch Project with aliens. And that's essentially because this is. It's very obvious that they took a lot of inspiration from that film when making this one. And that's really, for me at least, the film's biggest positive because I'm a huge fan of the original The Blair, Blair Witch Project. But it could also be its biggest negative because, A, if you don't like The Blair Witch, um, I don't think you're going to like this one. And two, even if you do like The Blair Witch, you may not like this one because it does follow a very similar pattern in how it presents its story. As for me, I really, really enjoyed this movie. I went in because it looked like the Blair Watch Project with aliens, and I wanted to see what they would do with this story. And I came out thinking that this was a much, much better film than I was even hoping for. And honestly, I would rank it up as one of the better found footage films I've ever seen, along with The Blair Witch Project, Chronicle, Cloverfield, and The First Paranormal Activity. Those are my favorite found footage films, and when I list those from now on, I'm going to include Phoenix Forgotten, even though it is very reminiscent of The Blair Witch Project. The story this time is actually based on true events, and that would be the strange lights seen over the skies of Phoenix, Arizona back in 1997. That's actually a real event. Um, thousands of people saw it. It was captured on film. And although it's been explained away many different ways, it's still a very strange event that actually happened. So it, I thought it was actually a cool idea to incorporate that real event into this fictional found footage movie. And where this sort of blends the real into the fiction is that it's this kid, this teenager, um, who was having a birthday party for his younger sister. So of course they were filming the event and he films the lights and becomes somewhat obsessed with them and ultimately he and his two friends are trying to film a documentary i know it does again where it's very similar to the blair witch project they go out into the wilderness and are never seen again it's now 20 years later and his younger sister is now in her 20s and is filming a documentary of her own about her brother's disappearance and that in its, in its own way, is very reminiscent of Blair Witch, the very horrible sequel um, that came out last year. Now, this film takes those two elements and blends them together in a way that this film actually feels like a true documentary um, because we have that older, better-trained filmographer with today's equipment filming all of the present day stuff where she goes back to her hometown interviews her parents the parents of the other two teens and gives the whole thing a much more polished look and she's including her brother's original footage that he was filmed before he disappeared as part of this documentary so it has that realism that i i always have as my main keys to a found footage film is it believable as a real as, as as real events? Does it feel real rather than it feel like a film? In this case, this does succeed. Also, you know, the the main thing is is it does is it believable that the characters were filming what they ultimately filmed? Again, this succeeds there. And is it interesting? And for me, it is. I will say where people may not like this film is because of the way the the documentary was developed and how she gets the revelations that she ultimately will so we can get some kind of you know the the sci-fi element that's going to be the the payoff at the end the first two acts of this film is admittedly pretty slow it's a pretty standard documentary about three missing teenagers of course we know that there's going to be something more to it that is going to ultimately be discovered but the sister does not know that as she's as she's making the first two thirds of this documentary. And for me, that is bonus points on the realism because it does feel like she was making this documentary and was pretty much done until, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a revelation and she gets some 
new information and that leads to the third act which is you know the payoff now as i said that for me was a positive but the the necessary evil of that is is there's not a lot of action in those first two acts for me it worked because i will value realism over action when it comes to a film like this if you get me to buy in and make me believe okay this feels real that gets me because the whole point of a found footage film is not to present a movie it's to present events recorded by real people obviously played by actors but you know you you want to buy into that for the most part the acting in this film is solid it's not great but what what works both with the actors as well as the script is it does not feel like we're watching characters it never feels like we're we're watching people whose dialogue and backstories were written on paper um it feels like they're real people um both in the present and in the past and Honestly, like I said, this film really, really worked for me. Now, of course, as I've mentioned multiple times already, yes, you can look at this and go, wow, they cribbed a lot off of um, the Blair Witch Project. You have the teens that go out into the wilderness and are never seen again, and then we get to see their footage of what happened. But, you know, it's been 20 years, especially since the actual sequel to um, the Blair Witch, for me, was horrible. Um, I, I'm going to consider this sort of the spiritual sequel to The Blair Witch and a much, much better movie than what we got last year. Now, having said that, I will say this film is not nearly as scary as The Blair Witch, and I don't think it's trying to. So, if, if you like found footage films, and you don't mind a film that really takes its time to get you to the payoff, but the payoff works because we understand these, these people, we understand what's going on, and we understand the mystery. This is more of a mystery than, than, a, than horror. Now, when the third act hits, and, it, and when things start happening, there's a lot of tension. But I'm not going to call it scary. It's not a scary film, but it does have a very tension-filled third act and one that i really enjoyed so again if you like found footage films you like unusual sci-fi type stories especially about ufos and aliens and you like these stories that sort of blend real events with fictional sort of backstories to it um like I said, I really had no complaints about this movie other than the potential comparisons to The Blair Witch, which, again, for me, was some of the most positives. So I really didn't have much to complain about this movie. I just really enjoyed it. So if you've seen Phoenix uh, Forgotten, what did you think about it? Did you consider it a good found footage film? Um, and did you did you enjoy it? Because I'm really curious because I really, really did. And I don't know if I'm sort of the, in the minority on this or not. Um, so let me know. As always, you can subscribe to my channel, check out some other reviews. And until next time, I'll see you at the movies.